Hey guys, welcome back to another Helix video. So today I want to talk about some of the presets that I have available on the Line 6 Marketplace. With the new firmware 3.5 update and the new cab engine they put into Helix, I've been going through the presets I have available and have had up on the Marketplace for a while, and I'm redoing them and updating them with the new cab blocks. So I'm just taking a moment to kind of go through one of my favorite ones I've done and highlight it. And um, at the recording of this, almost all of mine have been updated at this point. Um, you will see if you go to the marketplace, link will be in the description below. Um, you will see in the in the uh, individual preset, I do have them marked if they've been updated to 3.5. So with all that said, uh, the preset I want to look at today is one that is kind of it's very similar to what I use anytime I go out and play. I mean, it's pretty much is what I use when I go out and play. Um, it's set up to be kind of a Swiss Army knife for anything from clean rock blues. You know, getting into a little bit of heavier, harder rock. It's it's not a metal preset, but uh, the way it's set up is I'm using an amp model and I'm using snapshots to basically give a a four channel type effect where you have clean, crunch, drive, and lead. Um, in addition to that, when you flip over to stomp mode, uh, you have uh, all kinds of effects, delays. Uh, there are multiple drives in there. So if you prefer to keep it on the clean snapshot, there are several gain stages you can use uh, if you are more of the pedal kind of approach. Um, also, the way the pedals are set up, they are independent of the snapshots. So if you turn a delay on and go from clean to drive, uh, it's not going to turn your delay off. Um, of course, you can always go into the preset and edit that behavior if you want. Uh, but I wanted it to be set up like a four-channel amp with a pedal board. I, that's what I want to emulate. That's kind of what I like using live. So all that out of the way, let's, uh, let's take a look at this preset. I'm going to kind of walk through some of it and let you hear some examples. So first up is the clean snapshot. It does what the name implies. It's a clean tone. Um, there's also a looper on this preset. So I'm going to just do a little chord vamp, loop that, and then play over it, pulling in some of the effects. Um, everything I'm doing is going to be on the clean snapshot. Uh, I'll probably add some drive at some point. You'll hear that as the pedals that are built into the preset. So let's have a listen. Okay, so that was the clean preset. Uh, used a couple drive pedals on and off with a delay or two. Uh, there's a little octave pitch shift there. So actually, if you're looping, you could use that as a pseudo bass. Um, some phasing. Uh, there's a univibe on there. So just a lot of fun tools for jamming. Um, so that, again, that's a clean preset and effects. Um, I'm just going to kind of 
kind of go through the other snapshots, more or less just letting you hear uh, the guitar tones on that one, not jam so much, but uh, let's give those a listen as well. Okay, so now looking at the Crunch channel, uh, this is really where I spend most of my time. I live on this snapshot a lot. Um, it's like the clean pushed where you're getting some overdrive. Um, it's, you know, if you have a hot pickup, like a, you know, like a hot bridge pickup and hit it pretty hard, you can get some good crunch. You know, if you flip it to a less output, like a neck pickup and play lighter, it's, uh, let it's that edge of breakup thing. Uh, and it has good note definition. If you're doing open chords and everything, you can still hear all the notes very well. Um, and so it's just very versatile. So, uh, I'll just play a little bit starting on the bridge pickup and hit some open chords pretty, uh, pretty firmly. And uh, here's what it sounds like with the crunch. So if I lighten up my play. And then if I flip to like the neck pickup, which with my very axe, I have it set up to be a little less output. If I dig in, so it's still got, you know, it's kind of edge of breakup thing. You can hear the drive, but it doesn't sound like distorted, distorted. So I really like that. And then uh, because of the way the pedal board side is set up, I can throw a game pedal on a drive pedal and get more into a, a little more drive, a little more distorted territory. <laughs> So there's a lot of versatility there. Uh, there's like, again, like as I said in the intro, there's uh, three different drive pedals or gain stages. So you can take this snapshot and cover a lot of ground just based on how you're playing your volume knob, how heavily you're hitting the strings. You have the gain staging there without ever having to leave the snapshot. So that's the thing. That's why this is kind of my go-to preset because there's there's options and ways to get there depending on the style and your approach. So that's the crunch snapshot. Okay, so the drive snapshot is just up another level from the crunch. Uh, more drive, uh, hence the name of the snapshot. Uh, so let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> So still will respond to how you play. You can still lighten up your touch. But you are hearing, you know, a lot more gain than you had on the crunch channel. And you can still, you know, crank it up a notch from there by adding a drive pedal. You know, you add a second drive. You kind of get that let, you know, it'll ring for days. So, and, you know, again, as with the example with the clean snapshot, all the effects are available on any snapshot. And if you change snapshots, it leaves the effects as you left them. So, you know, I do that because if I want, you know, if I turn some delay on, I may not want the tone to change. I just might want to add, you know, a different gain sound so I can go to a different snapshot without resetting how my, what effects are on or off. Um, again, you can change that if you like just how I like to set it up. Okay, so the lead snapshot is basically the drive with a little more, a little louder, uh, as well as some boost in the mid-range of the EQ to kind of help push it forward in the mix a little bit, which is great. That's that's one way of trying to stand out without just cranking and cranking the volume. You know, find a place that where the guitar fits nicely in the mix. So this is the lead snapshot. <laughs> And we can always add on uh, the drive pedal as we did with the other snap. Oh, <laughs> 
lots of sustain, lots of gain. You know, you can pretty well take it wherever you want to go. So for me, this covers everything I need. I think unless you're getting into metal, it pretty much it does it. You know, everything from clean to you know relatively relatively high gain stuff. Um, so yeah, this is my Swiss Army knife preset. This is what I use. Um, it's now available on the marketplace with the new cab block in uh, 3.5. Been tweaked a little bit. I've tweaked a few other things, but uh, yeah. Uh, also, if you have already purchased any of my presets, they're of course free to download the new versions. But if you haven't checked it out, please do. Link will be in the description below. Um, I think it's some great tones and a great way to support the channel as well. So uh, thank you as always for checking out the videos. Leave me some comments below if there's anything you'd like me to do in future videos or if you have any questions about this preset or any of my other stuff on Marketplace, please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thank you as always for checking out the video and we'll see you next time.